Aloha and welcome. Thank you for joining me today from my live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and I am honored to be with you here today live from outside. I am in Kailua, Kauai and it's a beautiful day over here. I have a little trade wind behind me. When I got out of my vehicle to check out the area to make sure the signal was strong enough for this live stream, I walked down to the beach because ideally I wanted you to enjoy the beach behind me and um, unfortunately the cell phone signal was just not quite strong enough to offer the live stream from there. Uh, you might have had a beach scene but it would have cut off so I apologize about not being able to show you the beach behind me. <clears throat> but we do have some beautiful flowers and I'm just a short distance away so take a deep breath in and smell the beautiful beach air because we are that close. You can smell the ocean air. So welcome Petra, welcome Sandra, welcome Carrie. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you so much for joining here today. So we are in uh, Kailua, Kauai which is on the island of Oahu and it's on the North Shore. Earlier uh, this morning it was quite a bit of rain and last night uh, we had huge thunderstorms. It was just beautiful. I love the, the lightning thunderstorms and so I had to be patient to make sure I wasn't going to be offering this <coughs> live event while a rainstorm was occurring. I found a good area so hopefully the signal will bless us and we'll have a wonderful show today. So wonderful to see you all. Great to see you as well Kristen. So today we'll be talking about the uh, power and significance of the crown chakra, also known as the seventh chakra or the seventh soul house. It's quite a bit of information regarding it that is very uh, beneficial to know. <clears throat> and assuming we have time, I will offer a flow as well on the power and significance of developing the seventh soul house. This is the uh, seventh in the series. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to see the other six, please go back and watch those. There's some significant uh, information in them and I tried to do a flow each day from each soul house. Didn't, did not always accomplish that but there was a flow uh, or some additional value offered beyond what Master Shah uh, points out as the most important uh, aspects in his books. Um, I remember doing a flow just uh, is either yesterday or the day before and it was on the it was from the soul <coughs> of the uh, soul song which was Hung Ya Yo Dao and it went on to speak about how this mantra and in fact all of the mantras that comes to Master Sha they come literally from source to him and then he speaks out that mantra and the message was that when we chant those mantras it's more than just chanting the name of a Buddha or, or, or some verse it literally uh, drills a hole through from the Tao, from source, through directly to our physical presence and opens up a portal if you will in which that Tao frequency comes in and clears the blockages. So that was one of the examples of one of the flows that I received just the other day. So I hope to receive some additional information today for the Crown Chakra 7th Soul House. So well, welcome uh, Ari, welcome Monica, welcome Cynthia Marie. <clears throat> Welcome Yvonne and Pat. Great to see you all. A wonderful day out here. Uh, for those that just came in, I'm uh, transmitting from Kailua, uh, Hawaii, which is on the north shore of the island of Hawaii. Did try to make it to the beach but no cell phone signal there so we are here about a, a short block away. So let's connect first and foremost a heart to heart, soul to soul and let us <clears throat> prepare to receive the teachings, wisdoms and blessings. They're all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source. They're Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul. They're all heaven's committees, divine and Tao and source committees, all of heavenly beings, including the saints, saints, animals, lamas, sifus, gurus, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, in the West, beloved Mother uh, Mary and Master Jesus, uh, we ask all beings of light, spiritual mothers and fathers, to please join us at this time to bless every soul that is on the line watching now live and all those that will watch this in the future. Please bless us each to open our hearts and souls more each day that we can be better servants to humanity. Bless us to self-clear our Shen, Qi and Jing blockages. Bless us to open our hearts that we can um, 
find the areas that most need our attention so that we can purify. We ask that today you sit in our seventh soul house, crown chakra, and bless us to clear any blockages there so that we more clearly receive heaven's messages through this most important portal. <clears throat> we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to turn on and to uh, turn on in all souls and all universes. We ask it to turn on in our soul. And we ask it as we chant to connect us heart to heart, soul to soul, as appropriate. We invite all souls and all universes to join with us. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I worship her ling. Oh, I turn and lay. Wong ling rong her musher shang. Shuang I ping on her she. Shuang I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Sasahani, could you please set the alarm for 50 minutes? <coughs> so, I hope, visually speaking, you're able to see me that my face is not in too much of shade. Um, it's really hard to tell Facebook's live stream quality. <coughs> so, thank you, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. So, I'd like to welcome um, Gabriel, Suki, Johnny, and Judy. And I see Loveness just signed on. Welcome to all of you. As you can tell, my backdrop is flowers. I did try to get closer to the beach, but it was a um, poor signal. So we will do excellent from here. You can just breathe in the essence of the saltwater beach smells. So great to see you, Patricia. Great to see you as well. <clears throat> and if anybody else has come on and I have not acknowledged you, I apologize. I love you. Today is on the Seventh Soul House Crown Chakra Blessing. And uh, following the pattern of each day, I will uh, offer the teaching of Master, and Shah, Master Shah's books. And then uh, today I will also offer two downloads that Master Shah has placed in his Tao Song Tao Dance book. And I will read what he has spoken about the significance of receiving these downloads. I'm guessing that 50% of you have already received this download. But one thing I've come to understand, and even as recently as just a few months ago, um, my mindsets were such that, oh, I've already received that, you know, oh, it's just divine love. I've already received that. Now, I didn't think that exactly in those words with that kind of, uh, 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 but I caught my mind saying those kinds of things. And I'm guessing for the veterans, those that have been following Master Shah for a while, you might have said that at least once. And if you haven't, watch your mind. Um, and so I was watching my mind and it, and it, Master Shah uh, offered something that that was had been offered before and as he always says you know receive it and receive a boost and I caught my, my mindset saying oh I already have that you know and I stopped and I looked at it and I really went deep into it and one of the things that I came to understand was that was dark soul that was karma that was a lack of gratitude in the first place for the first time I received the blessing because there's really no room for some kind of mindset like that, any kind of a negative thought like that. If there was deep gratitude from the get-go, from the beginning, then I would have been even more grateful to receive a boost. So I will read from Master Shah's book, um, The Power and Significance of These Transmissions I'm About to Offer You. And then I will read about the seventh soul house, the seventh chakra, and we will use these for blessing our uh, seventh soul house. <clears throat> so, this is on page 145 of the Tao Song Tao Dance book. 
the title to this uh, section is called Divine Karma Cleansing for the Seventh Soul House. And he says there are two ways to receive karma cleansing for the divine, uh, from the divine. The first way is to receive a divine order for karma cleansing sent by divine channels with this authority. The second way is to apply permanent divine treasures, such as divine soul mind body transplants to clear one's own bad karma with the help of divine frequencies and vibration, which carry divine love, forgiveness, compassion, and light at the divine levels of frequency. The second way does take time. The first way is much faster. The first way, which is called a divine order, uh, instantly clears the karma for the seven soul houses. Currently, nobody, to the best of my knowledge, is allowed to offer that except Master Shah, and he is not offering it. So we have left to self-clear this ourselves, which brings us back to do we do it by ourselves or do we truly have the deepest gratitude for the receiving of a divine transmission that can much further assist us for clearing these blockages. How does the first way work? He goes on to say, a divine order for karma cleansing works when I or one of my worldwide representatives who are also divine servants, vehicles and channels, when they send the divine order for karma cleansing to someone, heavens, generals and soldiers, and the leaders and workers of the Akashic Records clear the bad karma carried by the recipient's soul. As I explained earlier in this chapter, there are many kinds of bad karma and many kinds of mind blockages. I just gave you a good example of one. There are also body blockages and energy and matter blockages. A divine servant vehicle and channel is given the divine authority to remove soul mind body blockages through divine karma cleansing. Divine karma cleansing is the divine way to remove karma accrued over many lifetimes. Divine karma cleansing includes divine mind and body blockages. Removal, which is the divine way to remove mind blockages, which includes negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego and attachments, and more. Divine karma cleansing also includes divine body blockages. Removal, which is the divine way, which is to remove energy blockages and matter blockages. The second way to receive karma cleansing from the divine is to apply permanent divine treasures to self-clear bad karma. Self-clear. This will clear bad karma little by little. After receiving the permanent divine treasures, permanent, that means you finish this lifetime, wake up next lifetime, you still have these treasures. You might not consciously know that, but you're going to be far more ahead of the game than all the other souls that did not receive this. <clears throat> After receiving permanent divine treasures, one must spend time to practice with them in order to clear the karma. The first way is instant, the second way requires a little bit of practice. And so when you practice, uh, heavens, generals, and soldiers will assist you. Now I will offer permanent Tao treasures, Tao treasures, which are higher frequency than divine treasures. And you can apply them to self-clear karma in the seven soul houses. So even though we're receiving it today and we will apply it to the seventh soul house, you can apply it to all of them. You can apply it to any practice that you ever do by yourselves. Turn them on. Now the other day I offered through this book, uh, through Master Shah's blessings, the Tao uh, blessing for love, peace, harmony, soul song transmission. That one is actually much higher than what, what Master Shah transmitted to individuals. He transmitted a divine love, peace, harmony. You receive the Tao love, peace, harmony. So far higher. So I want to take a moment and uh, acknowledge Patricia, Rianne, Romero, great to see all of you, and Crystal and Daraj. Thank you for joining today. So everybody, prepare to receive. If you are not ready to receive, just tell uh, Divine and Tao, I'm not ready to receive this transmission at this time. Thank you. So, uh, dear Master Shah, through the authority given to me as one of your worldwide representatives, please offer these blessings to all the souls uh, online right now and all the souls that will watch this video in the future, if it is appropriate and as it is appropriate. Tao order, Tao golden light ball, and golden liquid spring of Tao love, soul, mind, body, transplants. 
as appropriate, transmission. Tao order, join Tao love, soul, mind, body transplants as one. Transmission. Next, Tao order, prepare to receive. Tao order, Tao golden light ball and golden liquid spring of Tao forgiveness, soul, mind, body transplants. As appropriate to everyone on the line, everyone who watches this video in the future. Prepare to receive. Transmission. Tao order. Join Tao forgiveness. Soul mind body transplants as one. Transmission. Hey ya ya hey ya ya hey ya ya yo yo yo. You are all very 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 blessed. So now we will ask them to turn on. Repeat after me, dear. My just received Tao transmissions of Tao love and thou forgiveness. I love you. I honor you. I am so honored and grateful to receive your permanent, permanent treasure on my soul. Please turn on 24-7, offering your highest love and highest forgiveness to bless me to clear my seven soul houses and crown chakra today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will continue to read the power and significance of the Seventh Soul House uh, through Master Shah's book and then we will practice. The Seventh Soul House is a fist-sized uh, space located just above the center of the top of the head. It's not in the head, that's where the Sixth Soul House is. The Seventh Soul House is above the top of the head in the center. The Seventh Soul House includes the Bai Hui acupuncture point located at the center of the top of the head which gathers the yang of the whole body. This is the sacred powerhouse to connect with heaven, the divine, and the Tao. The seventh soul house also connects with higher consciousness. When a human being's soul reaches this soul house, it has reached the highest soul standing for a human being. Apply the four power technique to self-clear soul mind body blockages from the seventh soul house and develop the seventh soul house so i will offer a a, uh, uh, a reading at this time i'm going to ask the soul uh, of the seventh soul house unless a different soul chooses to come for any additional information regarding the power and significance of this soul house and then we will do the practice hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Hey, How? This is the source. The seventh soul house is not limited to the human being. Every soul in every aspect of life has soul houses. Mother Earth has seven soul houses. Alien beings have seven soul houses. Planets have seven soul houses. Galaxies have seven soul houses. I, the source, have seven soul houses. For your understanding purposes, it is important to visualize. Have you ever seen a mirror facing a mirror in which one image projects mirror after mirror after mirror after mirror after mirror. Think of all life like that, like an accordion that goes out in both directions forever. My seventh soul house is connected to all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, seventh soul house, which connects to the seventh soul house of Mother Earth, all the way down to the human being, all the way down to the smallest atom. And each of our seven soul houses are interconnected. It is the same for the sixth and all the way down. It is the same through all life. There is an intricacy that is not understood about the nature of human beings and their relationship to all life and to source. When you start to comprehend the nature of the value of the soul houses, their interconnectivity, 
and the associated karmic blockages, you can start to understand that when you take the time to clear them, you are in essence aligning yourself to all of life in the highest and deepest way possible. You are opening yourself to receive heaven's highest wisdom, to pull into your other centers, including your method center, the highest frequency, highest purity, highest love, and the purest messages that you can receive. You can align further to what will bring your soul journey forward and what will bring your healing as quickly as possible. It is the separation from this basic knowledge that keeps the average human being from being connected to that which gave its birth. It is all of those things outside of you that garner your attention from television to telephones and everything in between that separate you from source. Pay attention to the necessity to practice daily, to bring yourself inside, to focus on your energy centers. It is this connection that is what will bring you back to source the fastest. This is additional information on the power and significance of the seventh soul house and all of your soul houses. I'm sure this will serve you well. This is the source. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, source, for that incredible wisdom. Beautiful to hear, beautiful to know. I'm so happy that I have such blessed universal servants that type out these flows. And so, now let us chant. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, dear divine Tao and source, I love you all, honor and appreciate you so deeply. Please forgive me for this lifetime and all lifetimes. If I have harmed any souls and brought karma conditions to them by my wrong thoughts, words, and actions. I deeply apologize. Please bless me as I practice the seven soul houses and the crown chakra blessing today. Thank you. Dear all of my downloads and treasures, including Tao love, and thou forgiveness that I just received. Please turn on. Please bless this practice today for all of us to receive the highest blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will continue to chant with the mantra that Master Shah has brought to earth through the Tao, which is Tao Ya Yo Wong. Uh, Wang Ya Yo Dao, sorry. Uh, I'm a little bit in Hundun already. W E N G, Wang, W E N G, Wang Ya Yo Dao. <coughs> and then we will chant Wang Ya Yo Jong, Wang Ya Yo Ling, Wang Ya Yo Shi, and Wang Ya Yo Kong. Bring your mind into your lower abdomen. Focus. Let us begin. Wang ya yo dao, wang ya yo dao. Now your mind is in your lower abdomen, but see golden light and a rainbow or golden lotus above your head. Just know that it is there. Keep your mind in your lower abdomen. Wang ya yo dao, wang ya yo dao. Wang ya yo dao, 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 Wang ya. Yo dao, wang ya yo dao, wang ya yo dao, 
<coughs> Wong ya yo dao. 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 Wong ya. Yo dao wong ya 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 yo Visualizing the golden light at the top of your head, golden lotus, glowing, glowing brightly, clearing the blockages. Your mind can be in your lower abdomen and you can still see the golden lotus. Master Shah teaches, continue to chant, Wang Ya Yo Dao. Master Shah teaches that you can visualize what you want in your lower abdomen. So see your soul in your lower abdomen. It is a golden light being that looks just like you in your lower abdomen. Jong. See your golden light being with the golden lotus right above its head. Getting brighter and brighter. Wong ya yo dao, 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 Wong ya yo dao. Wong ya yo dao, Wong ya yo dao, Wong ya yo dao, Wong ya yo dao. And now chant Wong ya yo jong. Wong ya yo jong, Wong ya yo jong. Wang ya yo jong, 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 Wang ya yo jong. Wang ya yo jong, 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 Wang ya yo jong. Visualizing the lotus, see it spinning, radiating light upward and downward through your seven soul houses. See the golden light coming from 360 degrees, permeating and blessing your seventh soul house crown chakra. Feel the light going through the entirety of your body, going through the purified 
six soul houses that we had worked on earlier. Let us chant Wang Ya Yo Ling. <coughs> Wang Ya Yo Ling, Wang Ya Yo Ling. Wang ya yu ling, 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 wang ya. Yuling Wong Ya 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 Wang ya yu ling, 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 Wang ya yu ling. Wang ya yu ling, Wang ya yu ling, Wang ya yu ling. And now chant Wang ya yu shu. Continue to visualize, and as you are chanting, I will offer a flow as to what is happening during this chant. <coughs> Wang ya yo shu, 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 Wang ya yo shu. Wang ya yo shu, Wang ya yo shu, Wang ya yo shu. Continue to chant silently. I will offer a soul reading as to what is happening as you chant Wang ya yo shu. at this time is to help the human beings develop the seventh soul house crown chakra if you could see this it would literally look like setting up the scaffolding to build the lotus flowers the lotus flowers represent a level of awareness they represent levels of compassion, levels of alignment to source. And the scaffolding is much like light webs that become filled, become golden, become solid with focus and intention. <coughs> when there was notification of this practice yesterday, and actually, when this divine channel spoke about this several weeks ago, there was preparation for all of those who are attending and who will attend. Each of their heavens teams consulted with the special teams dedicated to develop these soul houses, especially the seventh. And these teams planned a pathway through which each person's enlightenment, awakening, and further healing can occur. Each soul is unique and different, 
and therefore the scaffolding for each lotus flower is unique and different. During the chanting of this mantra, all of you have been receiving heaven's nectar, heaven's vitamins, nutrients. We say these words because you comprehend them, but literally it is heaven's light. It is the light of the highest and the purest. Because you have asked heaven to be present, because you have received the transmissions, Tao love, Tao light, and other transmissions, our ability from heaven's perspective is substantially easier to build and empower <coughs> these uh, spiritual lotus flowers. This will come forth to you known in the form of easier connectivity, purer reception of information from heaven, greater protection, better alignment with your soul, more pure alignment with your heart center, greater compassion for all souls, and a deeper understanding of the nature of the universe, life, and your purpose in it. This is but a half of one percent of what can be explained through the power of this practice at this time. You are all extremely blessed. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. That was the soul of the seventh soul house uh, for all souls in all universes. Let us continue to chant Hey Ya Yo Kong, excuse me, Wang Ya Yo Kong. Wang Ya Yo Kong, Wang Ya Yo Kong. Wang ya yo kong, 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 Wang ya. Yo kong wang ya 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 yo Wang ya yo kong, 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 Wang ya yo kong. Wang ya yo kong, Wang ya yo kong, Wang ya yo kong. Keeping your eyes closed, feel your body. Is there buzzing in or above your head? Do you feel sparkles, heat? Do you see light? Do you see anything? Do you feel more clear and aware, awake, or grounded? Please open your eyes. Feel free to share. This was a very, very powerful blessing. Uh, the flows offered some significant information about what transpires when we put forth the intention of serving in this way, of opening up our spiritual channels in this way, of clearing 
self-clearing the blockages in our seven soul houses. It highlighted how when we call forth heaven and the uh, powers <clears throat> that are been put into the books, the transmissions that we receive, that it assists heaven dramatically in the ability to assist us. Because think about it like if we were a, a huge mound of, of dirt, you know, they have to come in there with huge shovels to clear things out. But if we bring heaven's light by, by turning on all of our downloads and treasures and, 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 and chanting with all of our heart, asking heaven to join us, then what happens is the frequency is so much higher that any, quote, scaffold building that was just mentioned in the flow can occur with far greater um, ease and success. And so, uh, you know, we want to pay attention to some of the information that heaven offers us through these flows because there is truly a great value that can be learned from them. So please share. I uh, want everyone to read. Um, somebody please type in for me the, uh, the time that you have because where I'm at, I cannot see the time and I want to make sure that I'm on time and, and cut out before Facebook cuts me off. I will uh, adjust it to Hawaii time, whatever it is. I just need to know the, the time of the hour. <coughs> okay, and Johnny says, um, wow, that was very powerful. I saw showers of flowers. Of course, flowers is virtue. Great sharing, Johnny. Carrie says, that was amazing, Master Paul. Um, much, much light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Judy gives me the time, 8.40 EST. Thank you so much, Judy. That tells me what I need to know. I got about 15 minutes left. <clears throat> Monica responds with, Dear Master Paul, when my soul was sitting in my abdomen, I felt light. Uh, wanting to come up towards my lotus on my seventh soul house above my head. And I felt there were waves of golden light traveling from my soul to the top of my head. Also, I felt the vibrations above my head and on my hair and more. Yeah, isn't that an awesome feeling? I've been in rooms where there is no, <clears throat> no air. And it feels like there's a fan on top of my head. That's one physical representation <clears throat> of when your uh, seven uh, crown chakra is open and awakened. And so uh, if you're not feeling those kinds of things yet, guess what? You need a little more practice. Okay. So I do want to comment throughout these seven soul houses, I have offered different uh, ways to do the practice. And the reason I've offered different ways, for example, when I did the fifth soul house, put my hand over the throat, right? and then the other hand over the lower abdomen. This is a body power, and this brings additional power through the hand to the throat, uh, throat area. You can do that for each soul house. Yesterday we did not do that for the sixth soul house. Put one palm over the sixth soul house. You can do that, <clears throat> and absolutely it is a benefit. One of the things that Master Shah teaches is that, uh, and this was, this was during the, the book as well, he said that if we just put our mind and our lower abdomen put our intention that the blessing will go to the soul house of choice just by soul connection to the soul of my sixth seventh soul house whatever soul house you're working on love you honor you appreciate you you have the ability to heal and rejuvenate yourself receive all the blessings that are coming to you at this time as I keep my mind and my lower abdomen please do so that's one way to do it, it works fine we could also say, dear all of my downloads treasures, please come to sit in my seventh soul house and we could visualize there. That works exceptionally well as well. But when we do that, you must remember that you're bringing a lot of power to the top part of the body and you could reverse the pyramid. The pyramid of energy is you want the strong base at the bottom and you want the peak to be the bright light, just like on top of a pyramid. So we have the brightest, purest light at the top and the strong, solid base at the bottom. So that's why we build this foundational energy center so strong. That's why we build the snow mountain so that we have a solid base so that when the third eye draws the energy to connect to the messages from heaven, we don't get drained. That's why Master Shah's teachings are boost the snow mountain first, build the solid foundation first. So even if you do practices for the fifth, sixth, seventh soul house, 
uh, and you focus on these areas with your practice, either with body power, like this is the body power for the seventh soul house. You can have one palm above the head, one palm on the lower abdomen. That's fine. But keep in mind that you should always finish with uh, a minute or two of lower abdominal practice. Very important to finish with a few minutes of lower abdominal practice if your entire focus is on that uh, fifth, sixth, or seventh soul house or energy center. So this is why I've offered different examples of teachings. They all are in Master Shah's books. And many people, um, when they follow uh, the teachings of Master Shah, they want to get it exactly, exactly, exactly right. Well, if you want to get it exactly right, then read the many times he says the words divine flexibility. Don't square your head. So exactly right means follow divine guidance and common sense. So if his book said go outside in sub-zero freezing weather, would you do it? Not without a parka. So follow common sense. So you can do all of these and they all are fine, but follow common sense. Okay, so Suki has shared Master Paul feel more grounded and her feet fixed to Mother Earth. Uh, she did see golden lotuses above her head. Wonderful. So uh, yesterday, uh, I was moving a piece of furniture out to the street, and I noticed something that had been on that piece of furniture on the side wall, and I had forgotten about it. I had taped it on there. And it was from, um, from a master that I had trained under about 10 years ago, and she had been in China. She was, grew up in China and trained under the, the masters in China that lived in the mountains there. And she had a photograph. Now, back then, they didn't have Photoshop. They didn't have digital cameras. They just had your, your screen, you know, your basic old style cameras. And she took a photograph of a very high level monk that literally had a spiritual lotus over his head. And that spiritual lotus, it, it was, it was, it was pink and orange and white, and it was floating there above his head. Uh, and she took a photograph of it. That's possible. This, in this physical world, those things are possible. So that was one impetus for this visualization today. So tomorrow, we are going to be focusing on uh, the brain. Because I am teaching at the Waikiki Community Center, and they have a different schedule. Uh, last week I taught on the heart, this week it's the brain, and the next Thursday I'll be teaching on, uh, I think, the liver and so forth. So I will interrupt our flow to do that, but I'll be teaching on the brain, and I'll be covering probably two things. Um, but one of them is the, um, the mantra for balancing the left and the right hemispheres. And um, it's, it's, it's truly significant for anyone that has any kind of mental fog, any kind of forgetfulness, uh, any kind of desire to, to link the creativity and the logical mind. I was reading something from a book called Medical Medium, and it's uh, truly a, a, an amazing book. I would recommend it to anybody uh, because it teaches us how to heal ourselves on the physical level using, using natural foods. And um, it's the... the, the uh, I won't even go into explaining who this person is, but it's truly amazing. He, he's a, it's a direct channel, gets direct channel information from, um, from the divine, and uh, it's spot on. He started receiving this information at age four, and, and the, this voice was saying, that's the per problem with this person, that's the problem with this person, and this is how you fix it. Since the age of four, he said he would watch TV, and that's the problem with that actor, and this is how you fix it. And it went on his whole life, almost drove him crazy until he finally realized he's here to serve. And in there, he spoke about ADHD and autism. And he said the children have the left and right hemispheres. And in between the hemispheres is a gap. And in that gap is the purity of all the light from heaven, the purity of all of the information from heaven, where the children are able to see the holy beings and so forth. And he said also in that gap is where heavy metals form that create imbalances in the connectivity and therefore Alzheimer's, ADHD, etc., etc. The reason I speak about this is because of the nature of the brain. When we chant what Master Shah taught us, uh, um, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Zhou Ling Ba, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Zhou R R Zi Zi, which is a special mantra Master Guo brought to Earth, that balances the left and right hemispheres and it clears the blockages in between the hemispheres. So I encourage you to come tomorrow 
for that, uh, that class as we will be incorporating that and doing a lot of practice uh, for this specifically uh, because I'll be dealing with people that are a little bit older uh, in this class. And then we'll return to the, uh, the Wai Jiao. I'll be teaching on the Wai Jiao the following day and then we'll finish with the uh, energy and the matter channels. So, uh, I thank you all so much for coming. I love you, I love you, I love you. I thank you for your comments. Please share. Uh, please share with all the people that you know the value of this uh, um, healing and blessings for them. Please let them know that it's Master Shah's information that Master Paul is offering to help people to grow their spiritual journey. Um, so I'm grateful for all of you coming. I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, aloha. Bye-bye.